Welcome back to Z, where we delve into the most intriguing mysteries and conspiracy theories from around the world. Today, we're diving into a shocking claim made by the US Navy that suggests extraterrestrial beings are hiding right here on Earth, specifically in Antarctica. Buckle up, because this one is bound to send shivers down your spine. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our mind-bending content. Now, let's uncover the details behind the US Navy's terrifying assertion. Before we jump into the alien conspiracy, let's set the stage. Antarctica, the frozen continent at the southernmost tip of our planet, has long been a source of fascination and secrecy. Known for its extreme conditions and limited human presence, Antarctica has been the subject of numerous conspiracy theories over the years. Recently, the US Navy made a claim that sent shockwaves through the conspiracy community. According to leaked documents or official statements, use appropriate details, the Navy alleges that extraterrestrial beings are hiding in Antarctica. Now, this is not your run-of-the-mill UFO sighting, this is an assertion by one of the most powerful military forces in the world. Naturally, this revelation has sparked debates among experts and enthusiasts alike. Some argue that the Navy's claim is a mere distraction or a part of a larger disinformation campaign. Others believe that there might be something more sinister at play. We reached out to, name, a renowned ufologist, to get his take on this matter. To understand the gravity of this situation, let's take a step back and examine the historical context of UFO sightings and alleged extraterrestrial activities. There have been numerous reports of unidentified flying objects around the world, with some claiming that these sightings are linked to advanced civilizations from other planets. Why Antarctica? What makes this icy wilderness an alleged hotspot for extraterrestrial activity? Some theorists believe that Antarctica's desolation provides the perfect cover for clandestine operations, while others point to ancient alien theories, suggesting that this icy land may have held secrets for millennia. Antarctica has forever been the center of mystery on Earth it is an unforgiving terrifying land mostly covered with thick ice with temperatures dropping to 55 degrees Celsius the extreme temperatures in Antarctica have transformed it into a almost alien continent where no one ventures to go or live but this desolation has also allowed other beings to make it their home brace yourself as we reveal the chilling account of a US Navy flight engineer who served with the Antarctic Development Squadron at McMurdo Station for 14 years the things he saw will blow your mind and make you question everything you have ever known about the fifth largest continent of our world in January 2015 investigative reporter Linda Moulton Howe received an unusual email from a retired naval flight engineer the man wanted to keep his identity a secret and requested how to call him by the name Brian only this anonymity was crucial as he was about to share details of his time in Antarctica from 1983 to when he retired. From the Navy in 1997 secrets that this military guy had spent years concealing as he loved to be nicknamed, Brian was assigned to the Antarctic McMurdo Station. When the US government constructed McMurdo in 1956, it was thought to be the biggest research station on the continent. It was situated on the southern peninsula of Ross Island and could accommodate up to 1,200,000 people at a time. Brian was part of the Antarctic Squadron expedition missions where he would rescue people in and out of various places talking about his experience with how in Antarctica Brian confessed that everything initially looked utterly ordinary but then one after another strange incidents that could not be rationally explained began happening all around him during a squadron mission in the Trans-Antarctic Mountains Brian and his entire crew witnessed something baffling they saw several silver darting. 
Objects that were moving in a bizarre synchrony the objects were round and were moving together in a peculiar formation he described it saying they're doing the strangest thing they're going like this peak in a group to this peak in a group to this peak in a group and then they'd all take off if a single person had observed these objects it would have been easier to dismiss the event as a hallucination but there were a whole bunch of people who saw them. And there there was just no way to explain it curiously. Brian revealed that this was not an isolated incident but rather a recurring occurrence. What were these odd objects that Brian observed? Could they be extraterrestrial spacecraft? The source claimed that this was only one of many enigmatic things he has seen in Antarctica. When Brian was assigned to rescue people in a medical emergency, it may have seemed like a routine rescue mission but it was anything but ordinary because it required him to cross the no-fly zone, which was off-limits to all employees. However, because time was of the essence and lives were in danger, a decision had to be made. And when Brian left for the rescue operation, he had no idea that he would come across something so terrifying that it would cause him to question his career choices. Brian remembered seeing a massive entrance to a cave that slanted down in the ice. He described the hole as being at least 200 feet in diameter, and even with the chilling winds of Antarctica, the view was enough to make anyone sweat. Brian started to fear for his life when all of the equipment on board stopped working. We discovered that there was something about the hole that was now causing these problems. Once the medical recovery was done and Brian returned to base with his crew they were surrounded by men in suits that weren't from McMurdo their clothes and demeanor differed from everyone else and these men were obviously from Washington DC but why were they in McMurdo so far away from their pristine offices all his questions were answered soon enough they told us that we are never ever to fly over that hole and we are never to discuss it again but just because the men in suits silenced all. The eyewitnesses at McMurdo doesn't mean there isn't a giant gaping hole on Antarctica's surface what Brian saw clearly looked like an entrance to something but where was it leading was it the opening of an underground alien colony the US government wanted to keep hidden we usually associate Antarctica with a place where humans cannot survive but did you know that researchers have found compelling evidence that suggests that life is possible beneath Antarctica's ice in fact they have discovered. A warm and potentially habitable oasis present under those thick ice sheets of Antarctica Here's what we know about this discovery researchers think that the heat from the volcano near Mount Erebus and the frigid temperatures of Antarctica may have combined to produce this cozy habitat. A hollow system of ice caves has been developed. The temperature there may reach an amazing 25 degrees Celsius. You might be surprised to learn that the lead researcher from the Australian National University discovered some startling information about these caves while doing forensic studies of the soil inside the caves. Intriguingly, the team believes the warm conditions inside the caves may have encouraged new species of plants and animals entirely alien to other parts of the world. Now that we have evidence that Antarctica is not the inhospitable ice giant we believed it to be, it's easier to accept the possibility that alien life forms may already exist there. Unexpectedly, Brian wasn't the only one who saw extraordinary events in Antarctica. Famous polar explorers have also reported seeing unidentified flying objects, strange phenomena, and a 200-ton hole in the ice. All of these observations point toward the inevitable existence of aliens, especially considering that he and his team were told to keep information about the massive entrance a secret. If there was nothing strange about the whole situation, why would Washington feel the need to silence us pilots and their crew? During his 1947 voyage to the South Pole, Admiral Richard Byrd also claimed to have seen a massive gateway to a subterranean realm. In fact, he made numerous shocking comments, given that he was among the finest aviators the U.S. military had to offer. With his impressive credentials, you can only imagine the public outcry when Richard Byrd, an American naval officer, announced that he had discovered a large opening at the South Pole that went deep inside the Earth and that this ICEF-free zone was inhabited by various sorts of aliens. 
What's interesting to note here is that Byrd made all of these statements while he was still in Antarctica. As soon as he returned to the US, he was allegedly ordered to STA it seems like Brian was merely verifying what Byrd had observed all those years before, but regrettably, the government treated both individuals with the same lack of interest. Is the US government aware of any extraterrestrial settlements in Antarctica? What are your thoughts on Brian's testimony? Did you think it was a smart idea for him to reveal what he witnessed in secret? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section below and hit the like button. If you liked this video, please click the notification bell to receive updates on other startling extraterrestrial scandals and subscribe to our channel.